the Battle of Lexington and Concord, voiced by Jacob Langheim and Michael Veneta, slideshow made and edited by Carlo Rosilio. The Battle of Lexington and Concord was the first engagement of the Revolutionary War. The battle started on April 19, 1775 in the Providence of Massachusetts Bay. The British commander was General Gage, but Major Atcairn led the British forces into battle. The British were determined to take all of the weapons and ammunition from the colonists, which was vital for American forces. The colonists were ready to face the British, and when they landed close to Boston, the colonist soldiers were alerted and prepared for a fight. Paul Revere and others came to warn all of the colonists that the British were coming for an attack. That made one of the famous events in history, Paul Revere's Ride. The British failed to contain the secrecy they needed to make this surprise attack successful. Although they suffered many casualties, they managed to push to the bridges that they needed to and destroy supplies, but lost the battle. General Gage, the British general, ordered his troops to retreat, but not to harm innocent civilians. The British soldiers paid no regards to his wishes and burned and pillaged the colonists' houses as they were rallying from the battle for a retreat. These photos you see are showing you the fighting styles and tactics of the Patriots and the British. The Patriots learned many ways to kill the enemy, whether it be stabbing, shooting, or hand-to-hand. -hand. Their guerrilla-style tactics won them through most of the war. They were aggressive, passionate, and willing to fight to stop the British and honor their leader, George Washington. George Washington would lead America through the Revolutionary War. Some consider him the reason they took the victory. The British used very civilized fighting tactics and simply believed that they were better than the colonists in every way. Since this was their first battle of the war, the British didn't know what they were expecting, but the Patriots did. With them pointing out like a sore thumb with their big red coats and huge marching forms, the Patriots spotted them easily, and so the Patriots went to win the fight with very low casualties, which was a huge factor of the war. As the British made huge firing lines, the Patriots scattered and took cover and easily wiped out the British. The colonist commander was Captain Parker. He was killed at the first encounter of the frontal assault. He sent a force to secure the bridges to stop the British advance. British troops got to supplies, destroyed them. But at that time, the American soldiers attacked a light body of the British force and drove them across the bridges. When the British started to march back to Boston, they were shot from hidden American colonists. British looted, destroyed, burned down houses, and executed colonists. The casualties of the British were about 250, and the Americans weren't over 100. This is the start of the war, and it started because the British were pressing their taxing, and their law enforcement made the colonists very angry. This lit the fuse for a revolution led by George Washington. Not only were they ready, but they knew how to win because the British didn't have a good motive and they didn't know the area as well as the Americans. Even though they had a bigger army than the Americans, the Americans learned a new way to fight. Not with straight lines of attack, but with maneuvers and guerrilla warfare. This showed in history that any empire is able to fall and be replaced. This was a major turning point because it was the first battle of the war, and the colonists won. They also suffered very little casualties. This gave them hope and a greater motive. The battle would lead to a huge war with many casualties, but a colonist victory and their freedom. Thank you for watching our documentary about the Battle of Lexington and Concord.